Okay, so this is my 16 slice stencil. Now this isn't a pattern stencil, it's just a guideline stencil. So it's basically like skipping, um, taking out the ruler or the compass and, and drawing on your lines. It just does it all right there for you. This is a 12 by 12 inch stencil and it fits perfectly on your 12 by 12 inch canvas. Now I'm just taking a pencil and ever so lightly I'm just going to draw on some lines. And I just wanted to show you how easily they come right off with a, an eraser. Super easy, no big deal at all. Starting off with my 11 and a half millimeter crochet hook, I put a dot right in the center. And moving to my smallest wooden dowel, it's about a three and a half millimeter in size. I go ahead and put one dot. I'm just going to go on a crisscross and just going to go on each of the lines. So there's going to be a total of 16 dots around that center dot. Now the center dot, the green is, um, it's a mixture between um, a Christmas green metallic paint and a gold metallic paint. I didn't want um, it to be the dark green um, of the Christmas green. I wanted it to be just a little bit muddier and a little bit brighter, so I added some gold. Um, and then the next layer there is my 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm just going to put a dot right in between on the outside edge of each of the previous row of dots all the way around. And now this is a 4 millimeter crochet hook. I'm just going to do the same thing again all the way around. So we're just going to ascend in size going up all the way out. This is my five and a half millimeter crochet hook next. And then here is my six and a half millimeter crochet hook. And I'm just going to go right on each guideline. I will put a link in this video's description below um, where you can find my stencils for sale. They are for sale in my Etsy shop, Dottie Mandali. All right, for this next size here, I'm using an 8 millimeter crochet hook. And here I'm just going to go right in between each of the guidelines. So I just kind of space it right in between the two lines all the way around. And here's the Christmas green. I'm just going to show you how I mix these colors and a little bit of the Anita's gold. I love the Anita's paints. They are no snap, which is hard to find for metallic paints. So they are really perfect for this. And then you just mix it up. And it doesn't have to be perfectly exactly you know as the other one or at least not to me I'm I just roll with it you know it's close enough it does look a little greener but I think it works out just perfectly most of these are covered up um, by the next couple rows of dots here or not rows but layers of dots this um, this particular design is layer upon layer upon layer of dots so you will see what I'm talking about um, this is my 11 and a half millimeter crochet hook. And again, just here I'm going to go right in between each of the guidelines. And I just kind of move the paint around if it's not, you know, if it's too much in the, in the center or not enough on one side, I just kind of use the edge of my tool and just move it around a little bit here just like that and it didn't really it doesn't really matter if it's um, you know sh not showing all the way through in some spots because like I said I do cover the majority up with um, the next layer of paint and this is my wooden dowel um, I call it about 13 millimeter in size
And you're just going to go right on each guideline. And that really keeps things nice and um, even and lined up correctly. I just follow the guidelines because you can't go wrong with those. And I just didn't like the way the paint kind of bubbled out underneath the tool there. So I just clean it up real quick with a Q-tip and just dot it again. No biggie. All right, here's some folk art metallic. It's blue sapphire. And I'm using my 8 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm just spacing it out about an inch from the last row of dots all the way around. And you got to really make sure that this dries very, very well, at least a half an hour to an hour um, in between these layers. Um, I'm using a size 2 nail stylus dotting tool. And I'm just going to go right in between each of the dots and put a row going out. And then I step it over, and then I go ahead and put a row going out between those next um, dots there all the way out and there I switched up to a size 3 nail stylus dotting tool and I just put about two uh, I'm sorry three or four depending on whatever fits there um, dots right in between and then I'm moving up to a size 5 nail stylus and I'm just going to do the same thing all the way out And here I have grabbed my um, five millimeter crochet hook and I'm just putting a dot of purple metallic right inside the blue, each of the blue dots. Now again, make sure these are very, very dry. You don't want wet dots. Um, it just does not make for a pretty dot at all. Just have some patience and wait and let them dry really good before you try to layer them. So for the purple I just mixed um, Anita's purple metallic and some of the folk art purple metallic as well because one was really light and one was really dark. Um, and then for the next layer I'm using um, the aqua color shift paint and that is with a five millimeter crochet hook. And I'm just putting a dot right underneath each of the blue dots all the way around and this color shift paint is a little snappy it does snap back and it is um, it takes longer to work with because of that you kind of have to go slower but it's just so worth it to me I love this color shift paint I love this stuff okay now I've grabbed a um, 3.75 millimeter crochet hook and I put a dot on either side of the 5 millimeter dot there in the same um, aqua color and then next to those I use my um, wooden dowel which is uh, the very smallest one I have I'd say it's about a three and a half millimeter in size and then after that I walk it down um, with a size 5 nail stylus just about you know two or three dots down just to complete a, a ring around the uh, dark blue dot there. Moving on I am using um, Anita's antique copper here and I'm just gonna put a very small dot right inside um, I'm angling these towards the center dot so I actually hug on one edge and I make a dot so it just leaves like a little bit of like a moon it's very hard to see here um, so that's why another reason I can't wait to get this new camera so you can actually see what I'm doing here and see how it has panned to portrait mode Ugh, so aggravating so anyway um, yeah just kind of hug the um, the dot towards the center and the center edge there and uh, and make a dot of the copper so you're just kind of leaving like a little moon 
of the under green color and just ascend in size. So you just want your dot to be slightly smaller than the, the under dot. I hope that makes sense. And um, really, I'm going to do this um, again with, let's see, two more colors. So, um, you know, here's how it looks right now. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is use that same copper color. And I'm starting with a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm just going to put a dot right underneath um, on the outer edge of the blue dots. Um, it's actually the opposite of what I did with the uh, Color Shift Aqua Color. And then um, I go next to the 5.5 millimeter with a 4 millimeter dot um, to either side. And then I'm going to grab my um, smallest wooden dowel, which is a three and a half millimeter in size. And I just put um, two dots to either side of the last dot. So I'm just going to, they're just going to get smaller and walk around all the way around the, uh, the aqua color there. And then I just take my size five nail stylus. And I just walk it on in all the way around to both sides there. And I'm just going to do that all the way around. There were a couple moments here where I was like, wow, that looks so cool. I should probably just stop here. Um, I didn't. I just kept going. Um, they already have the look of feathers, I think, starting to happen here. And now I just am going to go around the gold with um, that same green mixture that we had from the beginning. So the copper color has dried, so it's time for our next layer. And I'm just going to go back to that um, aqua blue color shift paint. And I'm using my size 5 nail stylus. And you just want to aim the dots towards the inner edge, pointing towards the center. And we're going to do that all the way out with this same color, all the way out. So you're now you're going to have um, two little moons, one little moon of green, and then a little moon of copper. And then this aqua will turn into another little moon when we put our next dot on. So I don't know how well you can see that there, but that is how it looks. There, that's a better shot. And once that dries, it really, really pops and almost glows. It's fantastic. So just use... Um, a size that is slightly smaller than the last size that you used. I would just grab a tool and stick it on the copper and if it's the same size then that's too big so you just want to go one or two sizes down. And now I'm using um, gold. And I'm just going to go right around the green. And you just want to walk it down, down and around. And 
And here I started with um, a six and a half millimeter, uh, followed by a six millimeter, and again just descending in size, go down to a four millimeter, and then your three and a half, and then finally the size five nail stylus, which is my largest nail stylus starting tool and walk them on down. And here I didn't try to get down to the bottom, I just walked them down as far as they went from that point and that was fine with me. I felt like it needed um, a little bit more color out on the edges there, um, so I top dot some of the gold. I just do three of the uh, the largest dots of gold. I top dot with the aqua, and then I'm just gonna walk out um, some like little feather edges out the tips of each one of these. So I walk out with the size five nail stylus. I did it in gold. Just kind of scattered around, just right at the tip though. Um, I do it in the aqua color, and then I will come back in a couple minutes and I do it in um, the blue sapphire as well. Just to give it a little bit of um, detail out on the edges and some extra color. And as you see, when these metallic paints dry, I mean, they just take on a whole new sheen. They just look amazing. I love to use the metallic paints. This was one that I just went all metallics on, and I think it turned out very lovely. And I hope you like it, too. And I can't wait to see how yours turns out. So come and share it with me. Um, you can find me on uh, Instagram, you can find me on Facebook. I will put um, the links to my pages in the this video's description right below. I hope to see you there. So here it is for you one more time. Hey, if you like this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out. And of course, leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about it. Um, and if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. See y'all next time.